It's me, everyone. After that, we will examine the ticket sign that is displayed by AMC Holdings. There was an increase in AMC Entertainment, despite the fact that the market as a whole had a decline of 5.56%. Given that the SPY did not undergo any changes at all, and even saw a significant decline, we are able to evaluate its performance in relation to the market as a whole. One factor, the VIX, will always be taken into consideration. This is a constant. The answer to this question will be the deciding factor in determining whether or not a poor economy is beneficial for AMCRO. In addition to this, we will discuss the implications that the conflict between China and Taiwan may have for the market as a whole, how it may be of use to us in the analysis of small amounts of data, and the reasons why it is essential to have a deeper understanding of Evergrande's financial problems. It is possible to ensure that videos will always work for you by ensuring that you click the like and subscribe buttons. Not a great deal of specifics. Firstly, again, AMC went up 5.56. And this goes back to that kind of technical analogy, a technical analysis that I was talking about in terms of the fact that AMC, the fact that AMC, the fact we can stay above that 15 resistance is actually very good for us. And just like you can see today, because we're staying above it, there's obviously going to be more momentum coming in the next area we're going to be trying to go for is obviously break out of that recent high that we made kind of around this um, 1850 level. So it's very important. Now let's look at some news first and talk about how it's Important, so firstly today, there was a piece of news, whereas Emmett, uh, my five, and FBI on China threats both chiefs won over Beijing rare joint address, so essentially where it is is obviously the whole situation with Taiwan. Now, a news has come out with China saying that they will take military action if uh, Nancy Pelosi is going to visit Taiwan now. This doesn't necessarily mean that there is going to be a war happening, but this is obviously going to create tension now. Why is this important for us? Um, you know why is. This important the reason for this is because of the fact for those of you who are aware recent, um, you know news about Russia invading into Ukraine has obviously caused a massive market turmoil. We can see energy prices going very high. We can see the market dropping because of this particular invasion. So we understand what a war could do with in terms of the overall market. And so if China were to take military action against uh, us or whatsoever, that's going to be on the bigger scale what Russia did in Ukraine has already caused a significant amount of uproar in the market in the United States. Consider the consequences that will ensue in the event that another nation commits an act of violence against us. The market in the United States will be considerably different as a result. Over the past few years, there have been import levies imposed on virtually everything. This has already caused a decline in the market, which is why it is of such critical importance. When we look at the picture of the VIX or of the VIX and SPY that we are currently looking at, this has something to do with it. The most recent film I worked on is also connected to this in some way. As a result of the fact that when SPY goes down, the market as a whole goes down with it, but AMC doesn't go down with it since it's going in a different manner, it was argued that AMC doesn't actually have much to do with SPY. To put it another way, if there was a slowdown combined with a decline in the market, that might be quite detrimental to AMC. What, what is the VIX and what does it do in this particular scenario? To begin, the VIX is a figure that is derived from the higher option prices in the global 500 largest corporations that are included in the SP500 index. These companies are located all over the world. At this point, everyone ought to be aware of what the SP500 is. What does this number signifies at this same moment? Within the context of the SP500 index, the VIX refers to the percentage change that was considered for a single standard deviation above or below the index. This change was examined using one standard deviation as a reference point. When the VIX number was less than 20, it indicated that the market believed that things would be stable and low risk. This was the case in the past. The number of the VIX is lower than 20. People are led to believe that the product is risk-free and beneficial to their health as a result of this. Now, take a look at this photo. Also, keep in mind that the VIX is older than 20. In spite of the fact that it is not as high as it was in the past, it is still higher than 20 at 20 at 22.92. In other words, the situation is not as secure as it was in the past, and it is quite probable that it will grow even more hazardous over the course of time. This is occurring as a result of being concerned about falling, being stressed out by the conflict, and having to pay more money. In light of this, I am inclined to believe that the present market slump is either already taking place or is on the verge of taking place. It is not always the case that bear markets in the stock market indicate that the economy as a whole is in a bad state. The ability to differentiate between them is currently the most critical thing to have. Despite this, you are able to resolve some of the issues. Despite the fact that it has decreased by 0.31,
I believe that MC will end up somewhere between 5.49 and 5.49 and 5.56 degrees. To demonstrate why it is of such critical importance and to emphasize once more, if the market experiences a drop, a great number of positions will be closed and a great number of people will be in a very precarious position. It's possible that you are aware that hedge funds have both long and short positions in the stock market. It is the purpose of a hedge fund to safeguard investors and provide them with the opportunity to generate profits regardless of the circumstances. On the other hand, we have observed that these strategies do not always function as intended during severe economic downturns. Because of this, you should be aware that Citadel still maintains positions, despite the fact that they have a great deal of authority and could plainly exhibit other stocks and make money. Due to a variety of other challenges, they struggle to sell their products swiftly. They won't be able to generate money from AMC if the market goes down and AMC Entertainment goes up, which is something that is extremely likely to happen. Additionally, they will want to get out of that scenario as soon as possible. In addition to what I have already mentioned, this is the reason why it is of such great significance as investors. We are holding on to Amex not because there are some kind of fundamental issues, but rather because it is the appropriate thing to do. Not only that, but we are not looking at the relationship between the ASMP 500 and the NASDAQ, which means that if the ASMP 500 goes up, we should anticipate that the market would go up as well. This is due to the fact that I believe everyone will continue to hang on to AMC, even if there are some sell-offs generally. Right now, let's take a look at the short numbers. As a first point of interest, the number of shares that are now being loaned has increased by 4%, going from 137 seven days ago to 142.91 million today. In addition to this, there are additional shares that are being lent out. The rate of interest on loans has decreased by 1.54 percentage points, going from 9.97% to 9.82%. This is a decrease from 9.97% to 9.82%. Due to the fact that shares only increase when the company decides to do so, it is clear that there is not a great deal of a hinge going on here. When the price of EMC goes up, the shares that are on loan also tend to go up because hedge funds are attempting to keep that price as low as possible. This is something that occurs on a regular basis, but it is important to keep in mind that they are required to pay a higher salary in order for these short-term jobs to be available. However, as I have mentioned previously, when the market declines, they will be required to sell a greater number of shares, therefore it is essential to keep this realization in mind. I would want to take a moment to discuss the perpetual scenario with regard to the extent to which the market is deeper. While I was making my most recent film, a lot of people asked me why they didn't just show Evergreen if they knew the crash was going to take place. To begin, it is necessary for us to be aware that Evergrande is listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Only HKD21 billion is the market value of Evergrande on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange HKSE. Please note that this does not imply that Evergreen is only valued HKD to 1 billion rather. It merely indicates the number of shares that are currently available on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. It is for this reason that everyone says, why don't you short it first? They are aware that it is not that simple. There is a significant disparity between their market worth of only $30 billion or $21 billion and their debt of $300 billion, for example. However, their debt is $300 billion. On top of that, there is a significant distinction between bonds and stocks. If Evergreen fails, then these bonds will fail as well, but the rate at which they fail is significantly slower than the rate at which stocks collapse. This